Knock knock. Hello. Are you there? It's the English Channel calling. It's time to sing, play, and learn with E4T, the learning TV. Hello, welcome to the English Channel. Io sono Sam and my name is Emily. Bambini, oggi vogliamo dare il benvenuto alla primavera con un fantastico laboratorio sul giardinaggio. Are you ready? Divertitevi insieme a noi. Let's have fun. Hello friends, it's me, teacher Emily, and today we are going to do a gardening lab, so it's gardening time. And we are doing sort of welcome spring. But first, we need to have a close look at all of the seasons. So do you know how many seasons we have? Yes, we have four seasons. So let's take a close look and let's repeat the names of the four seasons. So the first one, that we are going to welcome today with this lab is spring. Can you say spring? Very nice. Then we have, are you ready? Summer. This is summer and it's really, really hot. Can you repeat with me and say summer? Excellent job! And so we have spring, summer and fall that you can also call autumn. So in autumn all of the leaves turn brown and they start falling to the ground. And our last season is my personal favourite one. And it's winter. This is winter. In winter, there's snow. You can go skiing in the mountains, make a snowman. So, shall we repeat once more? We have spring. Then we have summer. Fall, that we also call autumn, and winter. It's gardening time. So do you like gardening? Now you can do it that it's spring and we have lots of nice days ahead. But first, let's see everything that you need in order to do some gardening. So first of all, you need gardening gloves. These are called gardening gloves, okay? And you use them to put them on your hands. Then we need a vase to put our plant in. And then we need a plant of your choice, okay? So I chose some beautiful daisies. And then we need a spade with soil, look, soil. And also another gardening tool is a rake. But we won't need this today, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to put on our gloves. So I'm going to do that right now. So glove number one and also the other one. Okay, just like this. Now we need to get our vase and we need to get our plant and we need to get the plant out of this pot. So let's do that. So let's press nicely. Okay. So we have our beautiful plant out of that plastic pot. Now, 
we need to see how much soil we have in our vase. So I have already started, okay? So let's put the soil all nicely and see if our plant fits, okay? So let's just get ready to do that. Let's see if it fits nicely. Ready? Oh, I think that is perfect. So we need to get our spid and add some more soil, okay? So we are going to put the soil with your spade and pour the soil into your vase, okay? All nicely. So our plant is going to be super happy. So let's do that for all of the soil that you need. So, do you like gardening? I love flowers in springtime. And it's such a relaxing activity to do. So let's get some more soil all the way down there. Oh, this is lots and lots of soil in my bars. Let's finish it all up. Okay. And I think that that is enough. Now it's time to plant our beautiful daisy. So we need to make a hole for our plant. Okay. And put our daisy inside. Oh, look, it's looking so beautiful. And then with some more soil, I am going to put it around the sides. Okay. So where it's missing. So I think I'm missing some soil there and some more soil right here. Then press down nicely and our daisy is planted. So beautiful. I'm going to see if they, mm, they smell so good. So now that our plant is in our vase, do you know what you have to do? You don't have to forget to water your plant because she is very, very thirsty. So to do so, we need our watering can and we're going to give our daisy, oh, lots of water. She is so thirsty all over. Oh, very nice. She is so much happier now. So we did our gardening. So I finished with this plant, but it's springtime. So we have new flowers. So shall we see some names of common flowers together? So this that we have right here is a daisy. Can you say daisy? Very nice. It's white and yellow. Another very, very popular flower for springtime are tulips. Look, I'm going to show you a beautiful picture of tulips. And tulips can be yellow, pink, white, orange, all kinds of colours. And I love them so much. And then our third flower that I am going to tell you today are daffodils. Yes, daffodils are such a beautiful flower that you can see in spring. And they are all yellow. Or they can also be yellow and white or light yellow. And they are so beautiful. But other than flowers, 
there are also animals that start making their way out in spring. And our first animal that I'm going to tell you about is a butterfly. Yes, butterflies start flying around in spring when they see flowers. Exactly. And then we have our beautiful ladybird. Yes, a ladybird is red and black. And then our last one that I'm going to tell you about, and they are so, so important, are bees. Yes, you start to see bees and bees go around flowers and they are so, so important for our planet. So, did you enjoy gardening time? Getting to know names of flowers and animals that you can see in springtime? Eccoci di nuovo bambini, vi siete divertiti a, a piantare le, la piantina di margherita insieme a Teacher Emily? Provateci anche a casa, la primavera è appena iniziata e sarà divertentissimo farlo soprattutto all'aperto. Non mancate la prossima puntata. See you next time! Bye bye! bye. bye. Goodbye! Our English time has come to an end. Don't forget to come back to sing, play and learn. Always with Aoife T, the Learning TV.